Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Colonia 1990 here on Farming Simulator 19. Been a while since we've been on this map, I've just been busy getting Sandy Bay back to normal. So once again, if you guys have not watched the first two episodes, I recommend you go back and watch these to find out what this is all about. A couple of things have happened since the last episode and I'll jump into that later on. But today, we're getting into, or back into our Zeto. As you can see, I feel like I'm too high. Here we were. Right, let's jump back into our Zeto. We're not going to get into the Ursus today. Uh, we might do actually later on, but... Um, I've actually done some off-camera stuff. Let me go ahead and reset the head tracking here, about there. As you can see, we are now in the Zetor, and I have cruise control, not cruise control, sorry, shutter mode working. Turns out, it does not like it when you rename the mod. That was my issue in the end. I ended up going and have a look. Um, well, it's all in a fresh, in a fresh, clean install, I should say. And, uh, yeah. Because I always rename my mods to FS19 underscore than the name of the mod, so everything's in alphabetical order. Turns out, the... Vehicle uh, enhanced mod that does not like that at all. So renamed it back to what it was. I think it's like TSX something or other, and then it seems to work fine, which is uh, good. I anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back once again. This is not a role play series. This is just a series where I can talk to you guys. Now we are not doing plowing today, like we we're meant to be doing, and the reason for that is because the plow texture on this map's broken. I don't know if it's something that's wrong with my end, like um, maybe a mod conflict or something. Or maybe the map is just broken anyway, but the plowing texture is only one direction. Um, so I was going up and down. I thought we, I'll show you in a second. Uh, let's just go ahead and get this connected up real quick. Like so. Get it hooked up. I don't believe we need anything. Nope. Cool. Get back into here. Let's get it lifted up. So yeah, we're going to go straight in with some cultivating. I have done the plowing, but I did it off camera, and you'll see why in a second. So both of our fields are now plowed. Um, like so. So as you can see, you can probably see the issue already. It looks like I've been plowing from, hang on, looks like I've been plowing from left to right instead of up and down. That's not the case. I was going up and down, but for some reason the texture is only sideways. If you guys have played this map, let me know if it's the same for you, or whether I've just got like a map conflict, um, sorry, a mod conflict, which could be the case. All right, let's go ahead and get this lined up. This probably shouldn't take too long. Um, this cultivator is a little bit well, actually, no, I'd say it's perfectly sized for this field. I don't think we need a smaller one uh, for this map. Right, let's get our four-wheel drive. Oh, we've just had some weeds up here. Do you see that? God. I'm not like using... Not using Seasons mod. I forgot that when you're not using Seasons, it uh, just appears anywhere. Let's get diff locks off. We don't need diff locks. Just keep the four-wheel drive on. But yeah, I was doing... Well, the way we're driving now is the way I ploughed this, but for some reason the texture is uh, all skew with. No idea why. Once again, if you guys have played this map, let me know if that's the same for you, or whether my game's just being stupid or whatnot. Um, but yeah, we'll crack on with this now. Alright, so those of you that watched my Sandy Bay and this video as well, and you're watching this video as well, not just Sandy Bay, I'll let you know where Sandy Bay's been, in case you guys didn't watch my live stream all the time that's video I uploaded. So I got sent uh, Sandy Bay version 1.1. With all the bug fixes, all the new features, it's a great, great uh, little fix for Sandy Bay. Everything now works as it should. However, look at all these weeds appearing. Uh, it did mean I had to start from scratch. Uh, as will you guys, if you download Sandy Bay version 1.1, you will also have to start a brand new game save, unfortunately. Uh, so that's what I've been doing. I've been getting back to where we were, which luckily wasn't too far. Luckily. Um... hit my chicken box. I'm assuming that's a chicken box. I don't actually know. So I'm going to do a few passes down this end, uh, left to right. There's a bit of a tight manoeuvring circuit on there. Zoom out a little bit. I need to go back over this pass. I've been too busy trying to settle the, the camera though. But yeah, still really enjoyed this map. I haven't got a road. Like I said, I haven't I had time to record this map because I've been so busy with Sandy Bay. But yeah, I'm glad to be back on this map. Um, look at all these weeds, man. They're just randomly appearing like that. Yeah, let me go back over that pass a minute. But what I need to ask you guys is... Um, so when I was doing that Sandy Bay time-lapse video, if you guys saw that... Really enjoyed making that. I could just sit back, enjoy, play the game, and then at the end just upload the whole thing... Uh, make it a bit faster. I'm thinking of doing an, it like a another map on the channel, which is just for 
um, time lapses. Let me know what you guys think of that. Really hope you guys, well, I think you guys will want to see because it just, it's a chance for me just to play farm sim as myself, not as uh, simulate and still upload it. I don't think I've got a split personality disorder, I promise I haven't. But you know what I mean. I don't have to worry about making the content entertaining. I just literally play the game and then speed it up. Those trees. I might think about cutting them down. They're getting a bit annoying if I'm being honest. Let's head over here. I'm going to switch my technique up a little bit. Because this field's so narrow, I feel like I'm gonna go do it like this instead. It saves me doing like a bajillion point turn at the end. But also a big thank you to all the Twitch gang. I have started streaming exclusively on Twitch as well. So if you only see one video, uh, one stream, sorry, of me on YouTube every time you see me stream, that's because I'll probably be on Twitch. So make sure you guys follow me on Twitch as well if I remember. I'll put a link in the description box down below. If I forget, please let me know in the comment section, someone, and uh, I'll add it. Uh, but it is twitch.tv forward slash simulate gaming, all one word. All one thing, obviously. So yeah, if you guys have been missing my live streams, that is why. Also, some of you are going to be happy about this. Some of you won't give a... Uh, a rat's bum, let's say. But this might be the last time you see the Logitech wheel for a while because I'm planning on doing a bulk recording of lots of other games that have force feedback. And this wheel is good. I like it, but it does not have force feedback. I will not use this with uh, force feedback games at all. I won't even dream of it. So yeah, this might be the last time you see it for a bit. Although most you probably don't care what wheel I'm using as long as I'm uh, uploading videos finally but yeah it'll probably be the G29 next video uh well actually I'm going to record another one after this so there'll be one more video after this one which might be Sandy Bay it might be this map I haven't decided just yet but then after that one basically what I'm saying is after today I'm probably not going to have this uh, wheel for a while which I'm going to miss the joysticks Right, currently, so that's the uh, first field fully cultivated now. Um, missed a couple of bits. This tractor keeps pulling to the right, and I'm not sure if it's the wheel or the tractor. Um, could be because we haven't got enough power. Oh, that's diff locks. Diff turn four wheel drive off. Um, I don't know if it's because we're lacking on power or whether the tractor's just dodgy, whether my wheel's a bit dodgy. Probably the wheel, let's be honest. So I'm going to go ahead and crack on with this one. This one's even more narrow. Um, I'll go ahead and skip this one, and I'll catch up with you guys when we have finished it uh, so we can start putting some seeds down. Well, okay, already. That's that field done as well now. So we're ready to get some uh, seeds into the grow. Now, I'm not exactly 100% sure on uh, what they grow in uh, Poland, if I'm being honest. I'm going to assume it's the generic ones. I mean, there's clearly sunflowers. I know corn's a big one. 
but we don't have any means to harvest the corn, or in fact plant the corn, because we haven't got a planter, we've only got a cedar. Um, so yeah, not sure what we're going to plant just yet. Probably the good old-fashioned wheat, because we can then sell the bales. We do need to get some pigs at some point, so we do need to get some corn down in the ground eventually. Uh, we could look at renting a... Uh, what do you call it? A planter. So we see how much we can rent one for. Because I do definitely need some corn, or at least... Sunflower... <sighs> I think we're going to get some corn. We'll put some corn into the ground and we'll get some cereal crop put into one of them. Um, I think corn's going to be better over at field or plot 72, which is the far one. Let's have a gander, shall we? I shouldn't have bought the cultivator around here. My bad. Right. Well, I have a look. Let's get the engine turned off. Save on diesel. We are running a bit low on funds here. So let's have a look. Right, okay, really. So I completely goofed and we do not have a seed drill. So I've rented two because I want to test both of them before we invest in one. Um, if we don't like any of them, then we'll have to go and look for one on the mod hub later on, or mod hoster or something like that. Um, I keep going to go into roleplay mode, I don't need to, because this is not in roleplay. So yeah, I'm going to look at mod hub or mod hoster. Come on, buddy. Out of the way. Um, for one. So we rented two. We're going to go ahead and get one. We're going to see yet. The reason... Right, so I'll tell you the story. I actually downloaded one for this map which I thought would fit quite well, um, but it's a little bit too big. It's nearly six meters. Um, so yeah, we'll see how big it is in person. If not, we have the in-game Amazon one to rent. Once again, this is only rented. We don't own any of the drills, so we don't have to uh, stick with what we've got. We'll be going back as soon as we've done seeding our bo oh, both of our fields. Conzo, you can do it. You can do it. Struggling a bit. Where's the road? It's wrong here somewhere. Here it is. It's indicated up here. Alright, so here we are. As you can see, we've got two very different sizes to choose from. We've got the in-game Amazon and we have that one. Now, I'm going to try and use that one. I don't know how much horsepower it requires, but we'll give it a go. I don't know where I'm going to store it if we decide to keep it. If not, we'll come back and get the Amazon. But I need to get the Amazon out of the way because I believe it's parked in the way of the hitch. Yes, it is. Let's just quickly hook this one up, we'll get out of the way. Don't worry about connecting any of the uh, cables or anything for now. Right, back it up. Drop her off here. I should have actually bought the other tractor and follow me, I didn't think. Um, I didn't think. Oh, we'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. I don't really trust them anyway. Right, so there's the hitch on the wheel. That's an interesting place to put a hitch. Right, let's get this backed up. Should be alright though. Nope, need to go closer. Dang it. Full lock. There we go. I do not know how to pronounce that whatsoever. So it's clearly imported from Russia, this one, but... It'll do, the, it'll do the job. So I believe it also fertilizes as well. Oh, tractor's not struggling weight-wise, so we should be all right, as long as it can power the thing. Got our beacons on. Come on, hurry up. And we're out. How big is this thing, anyway? Let's have a look at the back of the tractor. That's not too bad. Uh, mm. I'm going to say that's way too big. Way too big. Oh god. I think we made a mistake here, boys. I think we made a mistake. Okay, so we're back at the farm. Let's see if we can get this thing in the gate without getting it stuck. We have to come out a little bit wide, I think. Swing around. Yeah, it's way too big. We'll see if we can use it, but we'll probably get rid of it. I'll probably look for another one for the next episode. Right, stop this here. Keep on running. <laughs> I don't even know if we're going to be able to fill it, you know? Let's get the tanks open. I don't... We'll see if we can put a fertilizer in it. We don't have a tally handler, so I'm assuming... Well, I'm hoping, sorry, we can actually get it in. Let's jump into the Massey. Uh, get it turned on. I'm going to have to get this thing into implement mode, not camera mode. Oh, safety first. 
Well, hopefully this thing can turn realistically and turn on a dime. Yes, it can. Awesome stuff. Right. I'll go into third person so you guys can see what we're doing. About there. Go to the right a bit. Good stuff. Good stuff. Fairbank seeds. I should have probably got bags. Next time uh, we have to buy some seeds, I'll probably get the bags instead of the uh, crates or the pallets. Question is, can we fill this thing? Where's the lowest part? Probably over here. Make sure we don't crash. Oh, actually we can. So we might want to give you guys a little look-see. Okay, it's took a whole bag and I'm going to leave it like that in case we don't use it all and this drill has to go back like we said. Um, so I'm not going to bother filling it up again. Now we just get some fertilizer. Where's the pallet? There it is. Now this one's stuck in the corner a little bit so hopefully we can still get in. Need to zoom in a little bit. Zooming that camera through the wall. I love the sound of this thing. Proper old diesel engine, isn't it? Up a little bit. Down a little bit. Oh, we got it. We got it. Is that it? We full of fertilizer? Uh, trigger's a bit weird on this one. Trigger's a little bit weird. Is that it? Is it done? We'll leave it for that, even if it's not. Like I said, I don't want to be throwing or uh, giving any fertilizer or seeds back to the shop if we can uh, help it. Right, get this reversed out. The pallets are so much more bit well behaved than the big bags, though. That's why I decided to get these in the first place. Although it looks like that one's fallen through the ground, so that one's probably right off. We might have to just fill up by parking next to that one. Right, beacon off, handbrake on, engine off. Love that thing, especially when it's rusty like that. The door closed, is that going to do it? Yep. Well, it's like I said, we might not actually better use this thing, so this could be a waste of seeds. Um, we are full on everything though, actually. We're full on seeds and fertilizer. Interesting. Let's get the covers put back down. And we'll try. Try being the key word. Try and seed our fields. Right, where is the correct way? Okay, so we need to turn it around if we can. Well, we're definitely going to need four-wheel drive. We're struggling up here a little bit. I don't think this is going to be doable, boys. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Stop. Handbrake. Right, so we got hooked up. I didn't realise you had to unfold this thing while you were still hitched up in transport mode. So we had to go back and ha hitch ourselves up, then unfold it, then attach this. So this drawbar appears from nowhere. Well, you sort of attach it here where these bolts are. And it goes into our drawbar. So let's see how we get on with this, shall we? I think it's going to be way too big. We're going to need all the force uh, four wheel steering we can get. Not gonna put diff locks on just yet though. Right. Let's get into third person so you guys can see what we're getting up to. Right, final thing is what we got uh, what crop we're we gonna do. Let's do barley. I never really do barley often, so let's do that. We'll go down the middle first of all, just to give things a little test around. It's getting pretty late here actually on the farm as well. Right. Let's give it a go, shall we? So we're turned on. Do you know what? Oh, it's the same texture thing, look. For some reason this map only goes from left to right and it's really annoying. Like I said, same with the plough. Is it just me or is that for everyone? Good news is the drill's working and we're not actually even struggling with it, so... Not too shabby.
Alright, get ready. So we are now uh, on the next. I went to bed uh, in game, so it was daylight. Watching Farm Sim at night time is not too enjoyable for you guys. However, our money has now shot down because I forgot we were renting loads of equipment. Well, not loads of equipment. Two drills. We we're paying for the other drill, even though we're not using it, which is a bit. A bit, a bit a... Eh? What? That was not there when I went to bed. Right, well, loads and loads and loads of weeds have magically appeared uh, when we were sleeping. Very fast. I've literally just skipped time to the morning and it's like this, so... Right, I'm gonna go ahead and skip all of that time. That's because it was mainly night time and I don't know how well it's gonna look on, um, on YouTube. So, brand new day. Let's see if we can go do the other one. Although, we are hardly use... Oh my god, this field's got... Oh my god. Now, is the drill gonna get rid of these, uh, weeds? Or are we gonna be, uh drilling around the weeds. Right. Let's get it lowered down. Get it turned on. So we're going to go ahead and time lapse this field instead. These weeds better go away. Still got the dodgy textures. I don't know why it's doing that. These textures are so weird, but it's not enough to stop me playing the map. Which is a little bit annoying more than anything. Well, the weeds are going, luckily. Right. Let's get this field finished. Right, okay, so we finished that field. That was literally three passes. Maybe we will keep this drill, because we can get some money turned around real quick with this thing. But anyway, let's go ahead and get it back into transport mode here. Uh, let's drop. Oh, touch the hoses. Get it disconnected. Cool. Right. So yeah, three passes that took. Now, I did forget to change it to corn, so we have two fields of barley. Not a big issue. Um, I'm wondering if we can do some contracting as well. That'll give us some money, as long as these fields have contracting, that is. Um, but yeah, we're done. We managed to cultivate and uh, seed. I'm going to look into why the field textures are like that, so don't worry. You'll have to put up with it for the whole series, hopefully. I'll look into why that's doing it, ask around. See if Shy Wizard's still around. If you guys are old channel subscribers, you know exactly who Shy Wizard is. Right. So that's our fields done. So we actually still rent this thing don't own it. So what we're going to do is take it back to the farm. In fact, we'll do it now. We'll do it now. Four-wheel drive diff locks are off. Good. Some sunflowers there. I wonder if they need some uh, contracting done. I need to get rid of the weeds on this field. We need to get rid of the weeds. I just see... I miss a bit. What the heck? No idea. It's got the seed texture on it, but there's still some harvested textures on top of that, uh, foliage on top, so I don't know what's going on with that. I hope this map's not food bar, because I'm really enjoying it. But we need to get rid of those weeds. That'll be a uh, task for the next video. Right, so let's go ahead and swing around the yard real quick. Oh, wrong button. Uh, C. How do I... Right, so unfortunately, this seed drill doesn't unload the stuff you've put in it, which is a bit strange. I thought I was just an FS19 default, but I've tried every single button combination. Nothing in the F1 menu that says uh, unload. So yeah, we are losing not too much, to be fair. We're only losing 320 litres of fertiliser and six, uh, sorry, 766 litres of seeds. Not a big issue. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this back. This has been another episode of uh, Colonial 1990. Once again, these are quite short videos, so hopefully you guys don't mind too much. Still really enjoyed this map. Hope you guys are too. 
next video, we're either going to have a different seed drill or own this one. We'll see if we can get a deal with the store. But thank you very much for joining me. If you guys did enjoy, please slap a thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Sunny Bay coming real soon, so stay tuned for that. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.